Hallelujah. Glory be to the living God. You know, <laughs> we can't let people make us feel guilty for cutting them off. When the only thing that they did in our lives was to encourage us to do the wrong things, to encourage us to live a life that's contrary to the word of God. You know, ain't nothing wrong with being friends with people uh, to help them draw closer to the Lord. But at the same time, Paul told us, in Act, uh, excuse me, Peter told us in Acts 2.40, he said, save yourself from this untoward generation. Second Corinthians chapter 6 uh, verse 14, the Bible says to come from amongst them and be ye separate, saith the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing. For what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness? What communion hath light with darkness? You know, it come a time where we have to cut people off, certain people in our lives that's only pulling us away from the Lord and still encourage us, pushing us closer to the Lord. We have to cut the people off that's offending us, that's causing us to sin, that's causing and us to fall short of God glory that is a stumbling block in our life like Jesus told us in Matthew 5 he said whatever is in your life that's offending you and causing you to sin whatever's causing you to fall short of my glory Jesus said you need to cut it off and get rid of it because it's better to take that loss than to be thrown into hell and I understand that there's some people that's gonna need our help Jesus told us to reach out to that lost sheep Jesus told us to reach out to the world we are the light of the world we are the salt of the earth so it's up to us to be that light to help people get closer to the Lord. But one thing about it, my friend, is we can we can lead a horse to the water, but we cannot make him drink. There are some people who don't want to be helped. There are some people who don't want God, and they'll just try to deceive you and tell you that they want to draw closer to the Lord when they just want to draw closer to you, when they're just on a mission to pull you away from God. So it's important that we ask Jesus Christ to give us the discernment to lead us and guide us by his spirit to those people that really want to be saved because i've met a lot of people that really do want to be saved and you can tell by their behavior by their actions then i've met people who say they want to be saved but don't really want to be saved you know so it's important that we ask god to give us that discernment because my friend you know jesus he sat at the table and ate with the sinners but he wasn't there to engage in ungodly behavior he wasn't there to engage in their ungodly conversations Jesus was there for one reason and one reason only, and that's to draw them to repentance. That's to try to get them to convert to the gospel. That's to try to get them to be saved. He wasn't there to partake in the things that they was doing, but he was there on the mission to draw them to a place of repentance in their lives. And those who wasn't willing, them the ones Jesus had to keep on going, you know, them the ones that turned away from the Lord. But there were those who followed the Lord everywhere he went. Why? Because they was hungry for the Lord. Because they really wanted to be saved. They really want it to be delivered and it's up to us to ask the Lord to help us to discern because there are people in the world that are trying to make us feel bad for cutting them off you know and, and they'll tell you you know you think you better than me now or you you acting holier than thou now or you just think because you saved that you looking down on me now because I'm in this situation after you done spent so much time trying to convert them after you done spent so much time trying to encourage them to come to the Lord try to have Bible studies with them and all they did was want to pull you away and conform to the things of the world so my friend it's important that we discern because the devil he roam around like a lion just seeking whom he can devour be blessed my friend